Yo guys, it's Daniel here, back with another episode of Minecraft Let's Play and um, in this episode, we are going to start building the castle so as you can see, these are all the materials that we need and I kind of changed the texture packs too for you, those guys that actually notice so the first thing is obviously the enchantment thing but the most important, people would say, is this cobblestone stuff, like cobblestone walls, cobblestone slabs they finally do not have the untextured look anymore so yeah, that's, that's just because um, we're gonna be using those in the in the castle build. So, as you guys, we need a ton of items for this castle build. And yeah, it took a really long time to build this. So let me just show you guys what we did uh, as pre preparation. So, we need to apply back to our old base. So you guys take a take a take a short one, take a quick one. All right, guys, here we are back at the old base, and you can see that is the tree farm here. And I have a lot of bone meal here because yeah, I was setting up tree farm. And yeah, let me just show you guys how this works. So that is an AFK mode down here, and there's a mode down here that you activate when you want to plant trees. So for example, I plant three here and it grows and it gets pulled out to the side and we're gonna turn this off right now. I do not want it to grow anymore. And it basically goes to this side here, gets pushed out. And there's a smart piston here that it takes a lock and this whole row of piston activates. Same thing here, whole row of piston activates and the locks go all the way forward until here and the whole slice of wood just gets pushed forward until it reaches here. Once it reaches here, it stops and there's a cube of wood. Then it just basically prevents the farm from breaking. And yeah, that's about it. Redstone, it's kind of messy, but not really. But yeah, it works. So. I shall leave the tutorial for this in the description below if you guys are interested. So, there is this mode mainly for oak, so to prevent all those like awkward pieces of oak spawning. So, yeah, you know how oak are, oak trees are, they're kind of annoying. So, yeah, now back to our upcoming castle. Alright, guys, so here we are, and without further ado, I think I should just have a time lapse of me making the castle. Oh, this is supposed to be placed one block behind but yeah, no, I'll fix that I'll fix this as I build it so um is there anything else is there anything else anything else I don't think so okay I just need to tell you guys that okay for most of the materials I have enough but the two that I do not have enough of is probably andesite where's andesite yeah I needed to mine a lot of andesite and also spruce and oak yeah these three oh and spruce sandstone yeah, aside from that, like, material collection is pretty smooth. So, and the side was obviously the worst to get, because even with a beacon, it's kind of annoying to get. But in the end, I think I managed to get more and the side, way more and the side than I needed, so. Oh, and another cool thing about this traction pack, my armor changes colors based on where I look. So if I look at the monument here, see it changes colors. If I look at the sand here, it changes color. Oh, God, okay, let me not crash here. So if I look at sand, color, if I look at... That is this color. If I look at this, it's this color. Yeah. I don't know why, but you know, it's kind of cool. Here we have Jerry the Slime from a friend that joined. This is where? Why is he? Oh, there you go. Jerry. Okay, where's my end site? Somewhere here. End site, end site. So yeah, I ended up having a nice shopper box of end site. So yeah. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to leave you guys with a time lapse. Of me building this so let me just give you guys the last aerial view of this before i start building it as you can see it's a pretty neat layout if those chunks load in please load in don't do this to me load in load in there you go so this is the layout of the castle, this is how big it's going to be. The island is honestly a perfect fit for it. That's going to be the mine slash railway station slash whatever I want to put there. And I think we have two frogs as well. Yeah, there's one there. I'm not sure whether the other one grew. I, I, I took tadpoles in, on stream from a mango song. Yup, they grew. I don't have to cover that up, but it's okay. Who are you? You're yes. Where's the other guy? Well, he should be somewhere on the island. should be somewhere on the island. That's the... Llama down there. Actually. Got a marksman right here. 
Okay, yeah. So I'm not I'm gonna not delay you guys any further and just show you guys time lapse and what happens at the end. So see you guys in three, two, one, go. And here we are back and this is the completed castle gate and uh, apologies if the quality of the time that was a little low because I used my PS4 account which is permanently in creative just floating around either gonna either AFK in farms or just how am I supposed to get out here? It worked last time I swear. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's a shame. If I remove this, so I can act on it. Ah, well, I don't think I will be using this that much. Fix that later. But yeah, what was I saying previously? I I kind of forgot. But yeah, it's kind of cool. There's a basement so-called down here too. So I I might be making- Oh, I could change the floor into spruce. Oh yeah, I might be making some storage like for food and all that under here. Just to make use of the space, cause you know, why not? Oh yes, yeah, so I tested this one, this one works, so. That one's just a little bit of a different case. So here we are on top, and uh, there's gonna be walls on the sides. And back, I'm, I might put a so kind of a jetty at the back, maybe either there or at the bridge. Oh, yeah, I think that, that will work. It just goes to the corner to the bridge, and there'll be a so-called jetty with boats and all that to go to the sorting system. I have to redecorate the sorting system as well. That's another large project on its own. So yeah, it's a lot of big boy projects coming up. And this one is probably one of the biggest of them all. Yeah, so... Well, that's, that's about it guys, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please do drop a like, because this did take quite a bit. I think it took me about uh, two hours, two and a half hours to record this gate. Just this single gate. Um, Yeah, about two and a half hours or so. Just edited it down. I pretty much just had like music and I scaled it down appropriately. So the, the time lapse is about almost 7,000% speed. If I recall, if it's not seven thousand percent, seventy thousand percent. I'm pretty sure it's seven thousand percent sped up. So you guys can you guys can do the math probably. I I mean I cut out some parts too. So, but yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, as I said previously, if you do drop, if you do like the episode, please do drop a like. If you enjoy the rest of my content, do subscribe and of course leave comments and suggestions, especially on what we can build here. Because the railway station is probably going to occupy that part here. There's, there's probably going to be a mine somewhere here. And there's an empty plot of land here. Which we could do whatever we want with. That pyramid probably going to get... It's probably going to get larger. If I ever do a lava cast, I would do it there as well. So, yeah. And also, guys, leave a comment whether I should make this gate automatic via redstone. Which means I can press a button to, uh, to, to move the gate up and down. And I can also lock it from the inside. 
So yeah, let me let me guys know if you guys want to see that. I could probably make a tutorial out of it. I know the concept of how to make a kid go down, but actually doing it, it's a different question. So yeah. And with that said, peace out guys, and I hope you guys have a great day.